All right, so we are going to add fractions using the area model. Now, the key thing is students need to remember that they are supposed to uh, have common denominators when we're adding fractions. And you can see in this example, we don't have uh, common denominators, do we? We have fourths and thirds right here. And since we don't have common denominators, we can't add them quite yet until we get common denominators. And we're going to use the area model. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin by adding or drawing um, a rectangle to represent each of those fractions. So there and there. All right. So let's first represent one fourth. So one fourth means we are going to cut this into four equal sized pieces and then we're going to shade in one of those four pieces. All right, so that's one fourth. Now to draw two thirds, I could draw it like this and then shade in two, but I don't want to. I'm going to actually go horizontally and that's still going to be two thirds. It's just going to look a little different on purpose. So there is my two thirds. All right, that's very deliberate. So these I'm cutting up uh, vertically, these I'm cutting horizontally, that's on purpose. So now we have uh, one fourth plus two thirds. Now we don't have common denominators yet, so here's a beautiful, beautiful technique. I love this technique. So here we have fourths, so we're gonna cut them into thirds. Boom, boom. Here we have thirds, so we're going to cut them into fourths. We're doing the opposite. So here we have thirds, so we're going to cut them into fourths. And I'm going the opposite direction, and you see that? And now look at that. We clearly have intervals or units or pieces that are all the exact same size. In fact, we now have 12s. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, here and 12 here. So 1 fourth is no longer 1 fourth. One fourth is now three twelfths. How do I know that? Because I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's three out of twelve. Plus, and then two thirds is no longer two thirds. Two thirds is now eight twelfths. And you can pause the video and count them if you're not sure. And now we can just add those together. We already know how to add uh, three plus eight is 11, and we have 11 twelfths. So one fourth plus two thirds is equal to 11 twelfths, and we can see that right here. So let's do one last example. I'm gonna slide this up a little bit. So there we have our two fifths and our two thirds. And I'm gonna start with a couple of rectangles. And I'm going to begin by drawing what two-fifths and two-thirds look like. And remember, I'm going to do the um, two-thirds going, or two-fifths going up and down. And then I'm going to do the two-thirds going left to right. So two-fifths, one, two, three, four, five. And I need to shade in two of those, one, two. So there is my two-fifths. Two fifths is right here. Now we're going to do two thirds. So two thirds, I'm just going to cut them straight across and shade in two of those three pieces. And now I have my two fifths and my two thirds, which are not common denominators. So remember, <clears throat> I'm going to take my fifths and cut them into three pieces. I'm going to cut my thirds and cut them into five pieces. So here's my fifths, and I need to cut them into three pieces. Boom, boom. And then here's my thirds, and I need to cut them into five pieces. I'm trying to be as accurate as possible, but I don't have to be totally perfect. And so now we have our new fractions because this is no longer two-fifths, 
It's now one, two, three by one, two, three, four, five. So there's 15 pieces. It's six fifteenths. That is now six fifteenths plus, when this is no longer two thirds, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It is now ten fifteenths. And we can add those, whoa, and we can add those together. Six fifteenths plus ten fifteenths gives us sixteen fifteenths, and we are done. Uh, parents and teachers, there's no need for us to simplify that any further. Uh, and that is really kind of a, a neat way for us to show how to add fractions by getting a common denominator using that area model. Uh, it's not the standard algorithm, but that's okay. It's a beautiful way to show students how to get a common denominator, why that common denominator works, and then get that answer. Ultimately, students are going to learn the standard algorithm.